stock market S and P 500. The uh, multiple time frame analysis that I'm going to show you right now is really uh, available uh, to our level four members. Um, the uh, I want you to be sure that you um, understand that the, the the charts that I'm showing you now are uploadable uh, for our level four members and also static versions of them seen uh, by level three and uh, some of them available to level, our level two members. This uh, analysis I think you're going to find uh, very compelling because it is really very deep analysis. So let's take a look here as we look at the S&P 500 SPX. And the first thing I want to cue you in on is this uh, COVID uh, bubble that was in here. This big rally from way over here, which brought the S&P 500 up to or the stock market, depending on how you measure it, up to around 200% of GDP. Now, most of the other peaks uh, in the market, when you look at the bubble in 2000, when you look at 2007, uh, uh, all of those, of course, Fed created, they got up to 157 percent, 130 something percent. This was 200 percent. So this was pure insanity getting these levels up there. And you saw the stock market, uh, those groups that moved it up get absolutely crushed. Uh, and uh, that is, uh, uh, I think, an important issue. Uh, for the stock market that uh, the uh, important market uh, uh, movement in here that has happened in the stay-at-home stocks, those stocks that drove the market up, they've gotten crushed. You look at ARK, A-R-K-K, uh, the innovation fund that, you know, is, has gotten just annihilated and they're losing, you know, well over 60% uh, of its value and probably getting worse. And so many stocks in that category down 70, 80, 90%. So what we're looking at here is the cycle analysis, of course. And I want you to see right in here the cycle rhythms that are in the market. Now I'm going to uh, uh, bring this in a little bit so you get an idea. I want you to see the minor thirds that are in here in these cycles. So this big cycle that you see right in here made up of three parts. This is the dominant cycle and in this harmonic family there are three visible thirds in there. These green arrows are showing you where each of these minor thirds bottomed. Now in a bullish market the minor third is going to bottom above the previous one as you can see and when a market turns bearish it will bottom below the previous one and you can see this one in here below that one. Now you can see this one in here which was the first third is a horrible thing when that happens. That says that these next two minor thirds are going to make lower lows. That is what the highest probability is. But what I want you to see is that where we are right now is that um, these little green arrows are showing you that a minor third is due right over here and that you're likely to get a bottoming and then a rally. And each of these, you know, brings good upside moves. I would expect it about three to five weeks on the upside in here and getting up into these resistances. So the, the, the first resistance right over here is around 42.80 and this rebound we had this week got through there. So it really says that to the 50 or the 61.8, those are those two projections that you see right over there. That would take S&P up to 43.50 to 44.20. That would be the rebound target in here in the next uh, three to five weeks. That's, of course, a you know pretty extensive upside move. So when, when we look at, you know, of course, these bigger pictures uh, and in a very bearish market condition such as this is, uh, we are going to, uh, you know, look at what the probabilities are of all the market swings. I want you to see that, you know, looking at this bigger picture, after this rally, it's likely the next low is going lower and the next one after that. August to October is the nested bottom period and likely significant low timing range worth a sink in all of the indexes. So all of the indexes look like there'll be a low between these two time frames, which are August to potentially September, maybe October if it got extreme. If you look at the bond market, when capitulations come, they go, they last a long time. They run way past this time frame, so this could run longer, but I think the average time period would be taking it down into September. But this, you can see, is a spot for the market to rebound. So what I'm going to do is take you through 
our proprietary indicators and you'll be able to see them. The first one to look at here, of course, are the cycles, which show you that the market will rebound and then move down. I want you to see in here the uh, S Slim Reversal Scout, which is our momentum indicator and gives us good signals regarding uh, the cycle conditions. And this cycle is negative. You could get this rebound in here and not even turn this back up. And I would kind of expect that that would happen. Uh, that the negative momentum will stay in condition. This is the weekly chart. This is your daily chart. Look at these phenomenal cyclical patterns in here. Uh, for those of you that are students of the market, you will see in here that there is a dominant cycle right there. That is a 36-day cycle. There is a minor cycle in here that makes up the minor thirds. Now, oh, you don't always get minor thirds. You get minor halves. You get minor quarters. Um, it depends on each individual cycle. So that's running about 12 days. On average, this was 12, that was 12, but this was 10, and that was 10. <coughs> and you're maybe getting a shortening going on in here. Of course, I'll, I'll tighten this up and you'll be able to see what we're looking at there in this cycle. All of these yellow <coughs> areas are the areas that signal where the largest declines could come, where these nesting areas are. And this is a uh, intermediate 24-day cycle, which was very strong going back over here. It now seems to be losing some of its power in here. Now, what I want you to see in the shorter term as we look at this S&P 500 daily analysis uh, is that we have had in here a note uh, for quite a while, uh, for a number of days, that the suggested decline would be to a time frame between May 3rd and May 10th. And you can see where we are now, right in the middle of that. Now, this low right over here that we had four or five days ago was a little bit lower than this low right over here. Now, either this is the low here on day 10 or this is the low here on day 14. This being the low here is kind of a more bearish scenario. This being the low here gives it kind of more room to go up. And any way you look at it, this is a very choppy period likely in here. And again, this is uh, a little bit different than the weekly 4280 um, uh, where it already got up to this week and passed. 4350 uh, and 44.20, those are the numbers we're looking at. And this is the sell zone for it likely to go down. Momentum in here, I'm going to show you in a moment. But I want you to see down over here, uh, there, this that we're looking at here is the option bias indicator. And this is a great indicator for uh, directing your option positions. There will be warnings in here that you get that the market is likely to begin a rebound that we will be get, uh, got in here. But when it's basically red to, to, to orange to a uh, light red, it's telling you bias your option positions onto the short side. Here where it turned green, it said, well, you could start to do something differently, but then it went neutral again here. And now it's been red all of these days and telling you your option position should really be biased to the short side. This may turn green in here for a while. It may not, but you get a good idea what's going on and again looking at this daily chart and I'll just tighten this up a lot right in here this is the time frame for this to be making some kind of a bottom and getting ready to move uh, to the upside into that sell zone the next thing we'll look at in here is the slim ribbon and slim ribbon PO momentum conditions this is on the daily and this tells you when the conditions are positive uh, and uh, when they are negative or neutral. Um, if I uh, go further back in here, uh, right now it's set to six months, but if I go to a, a longer time frame uh, and go out to uh, one year, this will show you the time frame when the market was moving up so steadily. And you can see in here when the slim ribbon PO is green and you get these upward arrows, which are momentum upside resumption signals, the market keeps moving to the upside. Now, the Slim Ribbon PO is a proprietary indicator only for our Level 4 members. Now, if you look what's going on since the market has turned down, you can see in here when it's red, the market has a lot of risk. And when you get the down arrows, that's when it's telling you there's a momentum resumption coming on the downside. And you can see that right in here as that happened. That happened here again on April 21st. It happened here again on May 5th, uh, which uh, said to you that the rally that you got on, um, 
on, on Wednesday was likely going to fail, and of course it did, and this is still very negative condition. This is the slim ribbon, and when it's wide, it's we're widening, it's really negative. So what we looked at here on the daily chart for the potential bottom, the reason it won't it, it will not have an easy time is because both the intermediate and short-term momentum conditions are still quite negative, and that's why we don't expect rallies to be able to hold, and it'd be a very choppy time. So there's those momentum indicators again. For those of you that are short-term traders, you can see the same thing right in here, uh, where you're looking at a two-hour chart, and how this has basically been negative, the Slim Ribbon PO telling you, bias your trades to the short side. This is the dominant information. Now it's starting to get neutral and right here, but it went negative again. This is the, uh, the market condition indicator, which is a just a fantastic indicator. And it tells you, well, as you get between the 25 and minus 25, once you cross under the minus 25, it's negative. And it tells you that the uh, that the longer term conditions are weighing on the market, and that rallies will continue to fail. And you can see it got down here almost to the minus 100 level. It goes between 100 and minus 100, and right now it's trading at minus 87. It is a very negative condition, and that warns you that rallies will still continue to fail. This again is a level four proprietary. Uh, indicator. So going back really quickly for a summary here, oh, that was the wrong one, uh, bottoming due here on the intermediate, but momentum conditions negative. We expect a rally and a failure. This is the daily chart that looks like that. It's groping for a bottom as it's thrashing. This is the um, momentum conditions on the daily, which are still showing negative. They really need to repair themselves to be able to hold any kind of a rally. This is the two hour. This is the first one that will turn green or positive out of all of our indicators and give us a sign that that bottoming is in. That is a look at the stock market multiple time frame analysis with our proprietary indicators. Uh, and uh, a little bit more to say about that. I want you to um, we have this le a level three trial going on. Go to the top of the website, uh, and there's a link on there to click on, uh, or uh, you, uh, and you can sign up there or email Matt at AskLim.com for this in info on this fantastic level three trial that we're running, uh, and uh, just uh, uh, all of our fantastic information that you will get uh, special uh, for one month, just fifty nine fifty. Or for three months, uh, 200 bucks. That's only 73, 77.33 a month. It is fantastic. So uh, I want to make sure that you go uh, and uh, sign up for level three so you can get all that great information.